Barna's uh, dear grandma. You were always there for us every single day, even if that right. was living right next door. Yeah. You taught us anything and everything we needed to know, from major life skills to making the perfect cookie. I remember the last time we talked, you gave me a recipe you had just learned from Auntie Margie. You always made sure we were fed and clothed, and if not, you took us shopping. Nikki and I will always remember, whenever you took us shopping, you would even pick out the weirdest and most hideous clothes and still make us try it on. <laughs> Your favorite thing to say was, go humor me and try it on. You would even come into the dressing room to make sure we put it on. <laughs> you supported me in so many ways. You always tried to come to every single one of my events, from an orchestra concert, track meet, or soccer game. Most of my favorite memories with you is sitting on your living room floor, watching you answer every question on Jeopardy, and guessing the puzzle on Wheel of Fortune. Every time I had some news or even a new shirt, I always come over to tell you about it. I'll miss having you there every second of my life, and I know you're proud of every single one of us. Um, you've been there for all of us since day one. Um, you've always been very stubborn and didn't walk, like a lot of my decisions. But you were someone I could depend on, and you were always trying to not just help me, but also my friends. And it got to a point where they'd be over for dinner more than I was. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll miss your crazy big dinners, even though I think you still had way too many of them. <laughs> Thanks for Chloe. I know Dad said no to a cat, but I'm really happy you disobeyed him and got her anyway. <laughs> I remember you catering my dance competitions and taking on feeding on feeding the whole team and making me and my friends knitted little slippers for my 17th birthday. Um, we kept this family coming together, and even though sometimes it was hard to set dates for everyone, you made it happen, and I couldn't be happier to spend those times with you and everyone else. I still think that you're going to walk in the door or be sitting in your chair when I come in. It's still not real to me, even though I sat there and talked to you, and you couldn't talk back, and even though you probably really wanted to. We love you, Grandma, and I'll try to be the best lady you always hoped that I'd be, but no promises. <laughs> <laughs>